a lot of records falling or beginning to fall. Uh, we have set a new league record with 20 unbeaten games. Uh, that is a new National League South record. And then uh, we are closing in on a new club record, which we've equalized with 15 games unbeaten. One more match and we will break the club record. And we are also two matches away from equalizing the South uh, record for wins in a single campaign. Uh, the record's 32. We are on 30. Still a long way to go. Just to remind you there how many games we have left in the season. And again, uh, also we drew, we won four to two over Barnett uh, with a brace from David Tierney. Uh, both headers off of corners, one on each side of halftime. And that led us to a 4 2 victory. And unfortunately, Borumwood won their match, so we have not won the league yet. So again, we're coming back uh, each match. I'm recording them up until the point that we do win the league. So let's see what happens, or at least till we have a chance to win the league. Let's put it that way. Uh, so let's see what happens today. Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 21. This is Play the Kids, and we are with Tiverton Town FC, and we are running away with the Vonorama National League South this year, um, but have not clinched the league yet. We're looking for that automatic promotion berth where we don't have to go through the playoffs. That would be excellent. Uh, and I did show you guys the score of our last game. All right, we're going to go with Humphreys in goal, Taylor, Hemmings, Tierney, and Izquierdo on the back line. Ireland is back, Bryant and White in the mid, Cook into the number 10, Mudge and Williams up top. We are looking for a victory today, and hopefully, coupled with a Borumwood loss, we can win the league today and climb that podium and secure automatic promotion. Now, if that happens, what I'd probably like to do is end up playing, we may end up losing a lot of games down the stretch, but putting in, oh, it just drifts wide, Mudge almost got lucky, uh, but maybe start playing a lot of guys out of position, playing a lot of other players that haven't gotten starts this year. Um, you know, just general things like that to try to really ramp the squad up for next year and see what we can do there. Ireland heads it on, and the volley from Mudge goes high. So we've had a couple of good chances. Let's encourage him here. Taylor's going to take the throw. And there's Brian. It's deflected over to Williams. And Williams puts it in, and that is one to nothing. Tiverton, I'm not sure who it came off of. White Pot? No, it was Williams. I no, Williams got the goal. Looks like it came off of Deacon. Let's see, Ireland. It was Mudge. I think it was Mudge that got a foot on it, and it is one nil. Boromwood is losing 1-0, so we could win the league now. All right, let's encourage him some more. All right, out to Taylor on the left. No, that wasn't good. Not good, man. Not good at all. Oh, nice deflection. Cleared away, Ireland gets a foot on it to get it back up the pitch. So that's reassuring. Just, you know, a little defensive play. And Humphreys, oh, look at the control by the keeper. Refusing to use his hands. It's a principal thing, I think. Oh, granddaughter's using the bubble gun. So you'll probably hear that in the background. That's fine. Graham Williams, what a shot. Number 46. Is it just me or did just the bottom half of his body move there? It's like his, he, he, he like disconnected at the hips 
it just rotated. That was odd. See if it shows it. I really think he, he... No, okay, it was the whole body. It really looked like the bottom half of his body spun around. Back post goes wide, but it's Timberton 2, pool nil. Bromley has taken a 2-0 lead over Borum Wood. That is good. And we are in at halftime with the silverware in our sights. Let's pump our fists. Back post, and it's in the net. Chris Rathbone gets his six. It goes over Humphrey's hands. That's disappointing. Uh, let's demand more. I was going to give him some praise, but not after conceding the goal. Gotta say, it's been one heck of a season so far, and we're not even really we're not anywhere near the end here. Two nil to Bromley still. That is good news for us. And the volley from Hemmings, his tenth of the season. He's reached double figures for our center back. Wow, how crazy is that? That's a great year for a center back on the volley. That was beautiful. Bromley still leading two to nil. We're up three to one. Two goals for Williams. All right, let's go ahead and make a sub here. I'm going to bring, let's bring Cook up top. Bliss into the number 10. Let's bring Hugel in for Taylor. He's on a yellow card. We'll do that. Is Cuierto is tired. Ireland's tired. Cookie over the top. Oh, the keeper, Jackson. Good save. I think Ireland was on the receiving end of that play. Hugel gets a foot on it. And we're in business once again. Bryant. Oh, Bryant's taken down by Roberts. Counterattack is on. It's four on two. They play it back. And Izquierdo stupidly steps up. And possibly a penalty here. Yes. Oh, they call a penalty. I, I don't know about that. I think that was a little rough. Oh, how did it get through Humphreys? I think he didn't expect it to come right at him. <laughs> he put his hands up, but I think they split the uprights there. Oh, man, that's just, that was a poor, poor effort by Humphreys. All right, we need to pull off another sub here. I've got a mid-center and a defensive center. Let's move Bryant out on the wing for Ireland. And then we'll bring Bissex in for him. And that'll be one of those out-of-position moves for Bryant. See if we can get him learning one of the wing spots. It's Bromley 3, Bormwood 1, and we should clinch it here. And there we go. We're going to climb the podium, hoist the silverware. I'm bringing up the rear in the tracksuit because I do like to be comfortable when I am uh, doing my football manager. Big win for the team. Talking to the fans, the four or five in attendance. Ah, uh, there's there's ten, maybe ten. <laughs> what a win! We are promoted from the Vanarama South. So what that means is I will not do any more league matches. We'll just finish out the cup runs and then call it a season and move on. We'll come back for the uh, probably the we'll do a highlights from the last game. Take a look at the last uh, final stats for the club and how that turned out and then we'll do the end of season review and transfers uh in that in the last episode we still have both of our cup runs that are in place and we are going up 96 points we've got a shot at 100 remember we're only one match away from the all-time record initial payroll 47,000 and a 27,000 transfer budget 
So that gives us a good bit of room in the payroll. Big thing is we can't go overboard until we, you know, we've got to kind of develop slowly until we have the um, fan base and the attendance in place, which takes time. Uh, and you can definitely out promote. I don't know how realistic that is. Give me your thoughts in the comments. How realistic is football manager when it's looking at these pr lower promoted clubs? Uh, because I see it all the time where, you know, somebody gets promoted, you know, all the way up to the Premier League and you're still drawing a thousand people, but you've got to have a 35,000 seat stadium for the league and you're only drawing 1,500 people coming off of, you know, whatever, eight consecutive promotions, whatever it may be. But that is good. We win the Vonorama South. Our best ever South finish, of course. We will be happy with that. Two goals for Williams. I'm excited to see how he does at the next level. But more importantly, now, I think we need to ask the board to go professional. They're not going to do it. And they reject it. So they want to stabilize. Well, they wanted to stabilize at the at the National League South level. Well, now we're going to the National League. So I'm going to discuss this. We're not going to push it, but... All right, well, we'll let him go. Again, if this was a journeyman... We'd be looking to move on here, but it's not a journeyman. Uh, this is a youth challenge that we're trying to build the club. All right, we do set a new record with 16 games unbeaten, a new team record. I'm going to go take care of that business off camera. So let's take a look at the, at the schedule. All right, so we will come back next episode. We will do the... I tell you what, I'm going to do highlights of the first leg and we'll play out the second leg and then we'll see what happens after that. We may do two episodes from here through the end of the season. Just if we go to the uh, finals, of course, we'll do the finals and we will probably do that in its own episode. So, all right, guys, hit that like button, subscribe for daily football manager content. Very, very good season. And um, we're going up next year, boys, with a lot of games left to play. Take care. Bye.